The general properties of acids and bases can be described as how a substance behaves dissolved in water. To understand acid and base chemistry, we must first know a little about water. Water molecules are covalently bonded molecules that are constantly in motion. Most importantly, water has a slight tendency to dissociate or break apart into its constituent ions. For water, this means a hydronium and hydroxide ion. But almost as soon as a water molecule breaks apart, it recombines into a new water molecule. In an equation, a double arrow indicates the back and forth nature of dissociation. In chemistry shorthand, writing a molecular formula in brackets means that you are dealing with the concentration of that substance. At any given time, water has a concentration of about 1 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter of free hydronium ions and the same amount of free hydroxide ions. This tendency of water to dissociate is crucial to understanding the chemistry of acids and bases. Acids and bases encompass a wide range of compounds, and yet most share some basic observable properties. Both are electrolytes, meaning they improve water's ability to conduct electricity. Acids are corrosive, and they have a sour taste. Strong acids can eat through metal, and weak acids may cause an open cut on your hand to sting. Bases are slippery to the touch, and they have a bitter taste. While they may not seem as highly corrosive as acids, strong bases can cause severe chemical burns to the skin. These properties help chemists and others determine if a substance is an acid or a base. How we decide whether something is acidic or basic and how we use acids and bases can be traced to their chemical makeup. Did you know? Acid-base indicators can come from natural sources. The stained water from boiling red cabbage will change color when the strength of the solution changes. A weak acid turns the water pink. A weak base turns it blue and a strong base turns it a pale yellow.